Hey everyone, this is Steve from GamersNexus.net. We are here in Sapphire Suite. I am joined by Ed Chrysler from Sapphire. He is the North American PR and Marketing Manager. And the objective of this video is to look at all the different cooler options, because looking at different uh, GPUs and video cards, there are a lot of options between price points. Well, people get confused. They, they look at these things, and even with our own product line, they look and they see, Dual X, Tri X, Vapor X, Vapor X Tri X. They see all these different descriptions, and that confuses people. It really, it really messes with their minds. They're like, "What do I buy?" So let's make this simple. Let's break this down real simple. The Dual X and Tri X series. These are essentially we've taken the default PCB, the reference design from AMD, and we said, "Yeah, this is a nice build, but the cooler's not good enough." Thrown that away. Put our own cooler on it. Now, Dual X or Tri X will tell you how many fans are involved, but this is a simple heat pipe cooler like anybody's used to using. So a good reference design with a heat pipe cooler. This keeps the cost really close to a standard reference cost and gives you the same performance with cooler quieter operation. But what if you want a bit more? What if you, 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 you need to be a little cooler and a little quieter than that? Well, that's where the Vapor X comes in. We take and we add vapor chamber technology to the actual cooler. So this reduces the heat further, allows it to be even quieter. And then with some of the high-end stuff, we do extra features like we take the PCB and redesign it, or we bend the chip so we get a little better overclock from them. Or in the case of our 290-290X, we actually added a PCB cooler to it. So essentially when you go to buy, what you have to decide is, do I need to save a little money, get good performance and fairly quiet operation, or do I want much quieter and cooler operation and spend $30, $40 more? The, the, the choice is really based on the need and the budget that's available. Now we do offer two other, well, one other selection, and that's our special models. For example, we have the Ultimate, which is a completely fanless cooler. And then we have our ITX card, which is a small form factor card. So you've got a lot of options, and that's what we've tried to do, is make sure that the gamer has the options he needs to pick the card that's the perfect fit for the build he wants to do. So on, the, on some of these cards, we saw some exposed uh, PC, right. some exposed copper. Can you so on the, on the 290 and 290X VaporX, what we have done is, and, and you guys will have a close-up of this, I'm sure, what we have done is, is we've actually exposed the copper in the core of the PCB and put a heat sink on it. Now this sounds like, why? Well, it's pulling heat out of the middle of the card. So we're able to actually draw out heat that before nobody has ever touched. As near as we can tell in our testing, this is good for about three degrees centigrade. Now that doesn't sound like a lot, but that's three degrees centigrade essentially for free. So it's a, it's a really neat little idea. I, I like the concept. I'm hoping we'll see more models with it in the future. Uh, the end result, though, has been really good for us. It, it's worked out really well for the way we want the cooler to perform. What about the vapor chamber? Well, the vapor chamber is the, the big advantage of the VaporX, and that, that's what I mentioned. It's the reason it's called VaporX, is we put vapor chamber technology into this. It, it's funny. Um, I hate to do this. I could do a little marketing on you here. You have to understand, when you look at most video card coolers today, 80% of the designs were designs we pioneered. We were one of the first companies to use heat pipe cooling. We were the first company ever to use vapor chamber cooling on a video card. We're the first company to use exposed PCB cooling. So we, we take that cooling seriously. For gamers, we want to give them the coolest, quietest card possible. Of course, no new AMD GPUs right now. We'll have more news on that shortly. So right now we're just looking at the existing lineup. Uh, check links in the description below for more details on Sapphire. We'll have some blown out pictures of the, of the cooler, so that's interesting to look at. And thank you for your time. We'll no see problem. you all next time.